if you're sick of not progressing in a video game, not getting better, if you're sick of your plateau, if you're sick of being a noob in a game, maybe there are variables outside of the video game that are affecting your in-game that you're just not paying attention to. Transmission received. Authorization granted. Welcome to the video. What's up, dreamers? Hope you have a fantastic day or had a fantastic day, depending on where you are in the world. And I have to let you know that you boop, are awesome. Welcome to Driving the Vibe. What's the vibe today? Today, I want to talk about not being a noob. How to you know how to push how to push back past plateaus. How to progress further in a video game. How to become the player you want to play by focusing on variables outside of the game itself. I'm sure you're putting the hours in. I used to do the same thing. I used to put the hours, 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 hours into the video game. I plateaued. I couldn't make it any further. My skill made it to, uh, I peaked at my skill and then I became very inconsistent uh, because I started getting aggravated and irritated. And you know what? what? What's something I never focused on? All I could think was, there's one thing I need to focus on, and that's playing the game more and learning the game. But I already knew almost everything about the game. There were things I still needed to learn, obviously. But you can only you can only put so much time into a game. Think about it. Professional sports players, the people who the players who play basketball and football and whatever else, whatever else the sports these people play in tights and balls and stuff, they <laughs> footballs, basketballs, that's what I'm talking about. They practice. Not only do they practice their sport, what else do they do? They make sure they are sleeping properly, they're eating properly, they have nutritionists. I understand they have people to help them out, but but it is not impossible to do it on your own. Could they do this on their own if they didn't have all those people helping them out? Absolutely. And would they do that? Do the top players in these sports do that? Do they focus on their mental health and their physical health as well as the game that they're playing? Yes, 100% because they know that their health is a direct relation is a direct correlation of how they're going to play in game. If you are not feeling good, if you are in a bad mood, you're not going to play at peak performance. It's just that simple. And I'm going to focus on the mood in this video and your your kind of your mindset. I think that's sleep's very powerful, nutrition is very powerful, and exercise is very powerful to help regulate your body, keep your body in tip-top shape to be able to have, play tip-top shape in your game. But your mindset is the is probably the first step you need to take it's the most powerful tool why is that because if you are not in the right mindset and i've experienced this i never would have stuck through my first initial well not my first my i would have never stuck with my fitness my wellness journey i would have never stuck with working out if i didn't change my mindset my mindset was so piss poor before i i actually started changing my mindset thinking about the world differently realizing that the world is not out to get me my mood was not after I started realizing this and, and changing my mindset my outlook on life and and started looking at the world in a positive light my mindset my mood was generally less negative overall and that gave me the power to push forward because if I were to go in with an, to working out with a negative mindset if I were to go into my game with a negative mindset I would have got burnt out. I, I would have only picked out every negative aspect of the game, of my workout journey, of my exercises that I'm doing, and I would have never focused on anything positive. And if you only focus on the negative, you're gonna get burnt out, you're gonna plateau, you're gonna stop the journey. Your mindset is the most powerful tool you have. Change your mindset. If you are, if you are in a constant bad mood every single day, figure out what's causing the bad mood and eliminate it, okay? To me, it was myself. It took a while for me to figure out it was me causing my own bad moods. I thought everything was out to get me. This wasn't the case. The world was not out and it was not, the world wasn't against me, okay? I was against myself because again, all I was seeing was the negative side of absolutely everything. I was never putting anything into a positive light. I had no idea there was any positives around me, but there always are. You can always find a positive in anything. Even at the in the worst worst like situation, okay. Fix your mindset. Figure out what figure out what it is, and it's it may this may be a, a slower drawn out process. This isn't something that happened to me overnight. Figure out what's what's preventing you from moving forward. Try to eliminate it if you can. Work with it if you can't, and you know start focusing on more positive aspects as opposed to negative. If you like what you heard in this video, hit that like button, it really helps with the channel. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Tell your fellow gamers about me and about these videos so they can enhance their games, so they can stop being noobs. 
and I hope to see all you guys in the next video. Guys and gals, of course, and everybody and everybody. Later, dreamers.